Hey there, all of my Pisces people out there, sun, moon, and rising. It's time to have a look and see just what is going on when it comes to your weekly astrological and tarot card forecasts for the week starting September 15th, 2024. And just a quick reminder for everybody out there, if you ever want to get a personal reading with me, you just need to go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com, or you can follow the links in the down bar below. So what is going on when it comes to your astrology weather? for this week. Well, on the 17th, we've got our big full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces, which is opening up a three-month influence window for a lot of major transitions and chapter changes going on with you. Whenever we have a major eclipse going on in our sign, this is focusing on our personal story, our personal journey, personal projects, and personal ambitions that really don't have anything to do with other people. It doesn't have anything to do with partners. It doesn't have anything to do with work. It doesn't have anything to do with family or friends or anything like that. And this could be a time where a lot of you are getting back in touch with an aspect of yourself that has maybe been pushed to the side for, again, uh, you know, living a life in accordance with an external influence or external input. This can also indicate a very powerful turning point happening in your life story as we go through this next three months, especially moving away from something that maybe you had built in the interest of serving another person's agenda or carrying on for others that's not necessarily been your life or your path. On the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, we've got the Sun in Virgo forming a beautiful trine to Uranus in Taurus, however, making an opposition to Neptune in your sign at the same time. And so there could be a surprise win coming your way because of something relating to a close personal friendship, relationship, uh, business alliance, right? And there could be something happening that is helping to speed up growth or maybe even link some kind of important opportunity with you. However, it is going to create an opposition to something that you are going to need to be ready to reconcile um, as far as maybe a personal setup or something that you have built around yourself that has also been blocking opportunities for you to get out there. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's have a look and see what's going on with your tarot and the traffic. All right, Pisces, here's your tarot traffic. For your earth sector, when it comes to your work, job, and finances, you've got the two of swords in reverse. Now, the two of swords in reverse is a card of commitment. It's a card of setting things in stone, especially if you've had a lot of things up in the air in recent or less recent history. The Two of Swords reversed is the selection of a path and the making of a path or plan concrete. This could be a really good card for those of you that are looking to entertain maybe something new as far as a career path is concerned, or maybe something around a financial negotiation. However, the Two of Swords reverse is also indicating that an important commitment could actually displace or push out another uh, matter that's been on your plate. Now, this could be a good thing, something very welcome, or just something that you need to consider as you go through this process. But whatever happens with the Two of Swords reversed, we do have uh, some certainty and, of course, security coming through this as well. So this can actually be a really uh, stabilizing week for you financially and professionally. For your community, friends, relatives, other people in your life, your air sector, you've got the High Priestess upright. And the High Priestess is indicating some very important help coming your way through a friend or an ally. A lot of the times the High Priestess can show up as somebody who is a bit of a guide, a bit of a teacher, or even somebody who has got some kind of referral hookup or matchmaking opportunity with something that could be very useful to you. With the High Priestess upright, you also have to understand, though, that this is probably somebody who's going to be doing things their own way. They're not really going to always be doing things your way or according to your system. And so you're going to have to keep an open mind. But whatever this hookup or this help is, it's going to be good for you. For your challenge this week, you've got the Three of Pentacles reversed. The Three of Pentacles reversed is all about a lack of productivity, 
a lack of progress or a lack of industrious attitudes among fellows. Now, for a lot of you, this can indicate uh, a need to see where it's possible we're not actually making the headway that we want to make, or we might actually be putting a lot of work, time, energy, and investment into the wrong things. This could also be due to peer pressure, teamwork problems, or uh, group problems. And with the Three of Pentacles reversed, it's time to take a step away from the too many cooks in the kitchen or the too many people to please kind of mentality and start actually doing things more independently uh, and with only those that you can individually one-on-one -on -one connect with this week. It's going to make a big difference. For your relationships with love, romance, and partnerships, you've got the Wheel of Fortune upright. And so there is likely going to be some unexpected good news coming through uh, a development that seems to be occurring environmentally, something that you and your partner have nothing to do with. Neither of you have been working towards this. This is a happy chance. Now, this could be something that prompts for a bit of a change of course with regards to a relationship plan or setup because it's a good thing, right? We need to be able to adjust for good things to keep good things. This could also indicate with the Wheel of Fortune upright some kind of chance alteration, of course, with something that we've been working on but keeping small or something that we've not really been able to give our full attention to that suddenly makes it a lot more substantial presence in our lives. For those of you who are single or are available to new people, this could indicate a surprise chance meeting. This is the kind of card where it's like we bump into each other. We might have somebody randomly in common, or we may just end up being lucky on the dating app circuit or bump into somebody at the grocery store. But with the Wheel of Fortune, there is a chance meeting that is going to be um, get a new uh, show on the road if you're open to it. And if you've already been seeing somebody, this could be a alteration of course in their lives that does ripple out to an alteration of course in your connection with them and finally for your advice you've got the seven of pentacles upright it's time to take a break stop and take stock of what we have been giving ourselves our energies our investments and our time to and really look and see, again, what is paying off, what's not paying off, and what is just wishful thinking. With the Seven of Pentacles, this is actually a really good week, but you may also find that there are certain things that are coming up to show you where you could be doing something a better way, a better place, or with a better technique. And you might need to take stock of some things where you might be a little... Uh, too used to doing, uh, you know, your work or your plans uh, in accordance with things that are not holding up very well. When you do, you're going to be finding that this week could actually be very good for you, but you've got to be able to open your mind and step out of your familiar patterns. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget my name is Nico, son of Celine, and should you ever want to get a session with me, you can always go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.